Okay. Um, thanks for the invitation. Now, uh, uh, in this talk, I will talk about some <coughs> something about the statistics. Of course, you know this is workshop uh, the topics in this workshop is very diverse. As I, as I <laughs> do too. <laughs> um, and uh, hopefully you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. So um, and uh, therefore, uh, uh, so therefore, I will, I will. Uh, basically, just talk about the steps of uh, algorithm without uh, uh, too much mathematics. Okay, yeah. So uh, in this talk, uh, I will talk about you know. Uh, suppose we have a matrix, and then uh, 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 probably this matrix only have. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, for instance, the, the matrix, the rank is much smaller than the the dimension. The matrix uh, is uh, the dimension of the matrix itself. So therefore, uh, how to determine this rank somehow is important in statistics. Later on, I will give you some, uh, some examples. Um, in this talk, I will just talk about this we call the order determination for the large dimensional uh, matrices. Um, and here, I firstly, I give a program and the existing method methodologies so that you can have some idea about, uh, 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 about this area. And the next step, I will give uh, a methodology, uh, uh, give uh, the detail of methodology. So somehow, I just give you, as I mentioned, just give you some steps of the, the algorithm. And I also present some uh, result, uh, but just present the result without any detail, OK? Yeah, uh, without uh, any detail of the proof. So finally, I give some numerical study so that you can have a better idea about uh, uh, this methodology, OK? Um, here. So firstly, I give you a regression model. Uh, regression model means we have x and y, and then we want to establish the, 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 the relationship between, uh, for instance, this is out, uh, the y's output, x is an input, and then we just want to make a link between these two kind of uh, uh, variables so that we can have some idea how input affect, affects the, 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 the output. OK, yeah, this is a regression. Um, and the, in, this, in this regression model, actually, the link function is very compli complicated. This means, uh, statistically, we call this function is a non-parametric, non so without any constraint. Um, in this case, usually, we need, to, we need to use the data to estimate this link function. However, if uh, the dimension of x is very high, this is a big problem. It's usually, it's very hard to estimate. Uh, uh, this is a link function. So therefore, uh, we suppose we have a structure, probably we have a chance. So what does it mean? This means uh, here, suppose here the function g, link function, is still unknown. However, inside, we have uh, we call the dimension reduction structure. So x is the origin, uh, original uh, 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 vector, but the b transpose is uh, we call the projection. OK, yeah. So um, here, so this is here I write g is on no uh, function, and b is a p by q. P by, what does it mean p by q? p by q means p is a dimension of x, and q means uh, how many linear combinations. We call it q. OK, yeah. So um, this is actually, we can consider this is uh, the, the, the step of, the, uh, the, the initial step of modeling. OK, yeah. So if q is much smaller than the, or the, the the dimension of x, and then probably the model can be model can be much simpler, and then the estimation can be much easier. So this is the purpose. Uh, for for example, very simple uh, example is a linear model. This means linear model. What does it mean? Linear model. Mean, linear model means y equals beta transpose x, but beta is just a, a, a vector, and then this is, this means eventually beta transpose x is a univariate. Okay. In case we can efficiently get the idea about beta, and then we can efficiently get the idea about the regression relationship. This is a basic idea. But how, of course, in this case, in our case, it's a much, much more complicated. But we still want to use this idea to do something. Okay? Yeah. So um, here, mathematically, I write, write, I, somehow I write down some more details of, uh, uh, in this structure. Um, here, as I mentioned, if the Q is much smaller than P, and then we can reduce the dimensionality. Um, and if we can identify P, as I mentioned, for linear model, if uh, we can identify the, 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 uh, the, the vector uh, beta, and then we can efficiently get the relationship. And here, if we can uh, efficiently get the, the idea about the Q, 
Q is a number of linear combinations. And then we can also efficiently reduce the dimensionality. Okay, yeah, so. Um, and the question is how to do it? How to do it? So the, the basic idea is once Q is determined, and then we can reduce the dimensionality from P to Q. And then we just work on the Q variables. Okay? We, we don't work on the original P variables. So this uh, is a very typical, we call it dimension reduction. Okay, yeah. So the question is how to do it here. Um, actually, there are several, several methods. The popularly used methods related, usually related to the eigen decomposition of, uh, <coughs> sorry, of uh, we call the target matrix. Um, for instance, I'll give you another example. For instance, principal component analysis. This also target matrix is a covariance matrix, okay? Or covariance matrix. And then here, for in general case, we can we say this is a target matrix. Okay, yeah. So therefore, uh, for this target matrix, we just want to identify the number of non-zero eigenvalues. Usually, okay, yeah. So the question is how to do it. Here, we can, uh, in the literature, there, there are several uh, methodologies for these uh, uh, problems. For instance, we can have a sequential test. We can also have a, a BIC type uh, criterion, and then we can also for the later estimation and so on. Okay, yeah, there are several methods. The long-standing problem in this area is the underdetermination. So what does it mean? So this means su suppose originally Q, probably the true Q, is three or four. However, using this idea to determine uh, the uh, the number is this is often the case. The no, this is, the, the the estimate number is smaller than the true number. For instance, even uh, uh, the the estimate is only one or two. So this is only because the following result will arisen because of the existence of one or two dominating eigenvalues when we, cons when we conduct the eigen decomposition. So here I'll give you an example, to give you example so that you can also have some idea. Here, in this example, we have about 400 data points. This is number is not small. And then we only have eight vari variables. So this means the dimension is on only eight. Um, if we, of course, you, if we want to get the idea about the, this decom uh, eigen decomposition, and then we, we need to use, uh, uh, we use so-called target matrix. Here, I use, uh, I use uh, uh, what's called the third-based D matrix. Uh, this one is completely related to, related to the, what we call the sufficient dimension reduction. Uh, so uh, here, I just give you the idea. We use uh, a matrix, okay, yeah. So, and then we can get eigenvalues. Here the eigenvalues, for instance, the first one is 1.4, and the second one, it dropped to 0.22, okay? Um, and then if we use uh, this, uh, the idea, which is uh, similar to principal component analysis, you can find the first one divided by the first eigenvalue, divided by the all, is, uh, is already about, is about, already about, about the 0.8. So, and if we use the uh, first the two, it's uh, over, it's uh, now here as a point 87. So, if you can think about, if we simp simply use uh, the principal common uh, analysis idea, and then how many, eigen how many uh, 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 eigenvalue you want to consider? One, even two, uh, two, even one. So in other words, the dimension you can see, you consider probably just one or two. And here, now we can use this uh, screen plot to show you. The first one is so large, and the second one immediately dropped to 0 0.22 something. And then, how many, uh, how many, uh, how many non-zero eigenvalue you can think about? Probably is one, maybe two small. And then two or three, if now so go to, go, if we go to the four, it seems very close to zero. Okay, yeah, maybe three is good enough. However, if we use the, uh, for the screen plot, it's very hard to, to, uh, to, 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 to determine. And now we can use the existing method to check. Um, here, later on, we are, uh, later on, I will come back to this, uh, these slides. And the, this one, this one is our method, later on we will talk about. And then here, this one, if we use this uh, criterion, we choose Y, this is a minim minimizer. And then if we use BIC, here is a maximizer. This is also one. This means Q is still is still estimated to be to be one. And if we use RE, here is also a maximizer. Is also one. 
So it's very easy to get the under uh, 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 get the under under uh, underestimation problem. Okay. Uh, and here, so based on this idea, actually uh, this this problem is also is also frequently mentioned in the uh, econometrics. So this is also a problem. So therefore, now we want to uh, 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 propose a method uh, to somehow to solve this this problem at least partially. Okay? Yeah. So how do you do it? Here, I just give you the basic uh, uh, step, and then you can get some idea. Um, how to get it? So firstly, we have a target matrix. Okay? So this this method is very general. For 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 many areas uh, uh, can be used in the many areas. Um, we can use a very general target matrix. Um, afterwards, we can get the eigen decomposition. This means we can we can have eigenvalues lambda one to to lambda p. Okay. So how many non-zero eigenvalues here from lambda uh, from number one to lambda q? So this means we have q non-zero eigenvalues. Others are zero. Okay. This is the first point. And this is at the population level. And of course, for instance, uh, 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 in the literature, for instance, for the signal de uh, detection, we can also talk about uh, some kind, of, we call the spike population model. Uh, if the P is fixed, and then spike population model can also, uh, can also be transferred to, uh, to this form, okay? It just minus some constant, and then we can also have this structure, the first. And then second, uh, now we go to the uh, uh, several steps. Uh, the first step, first step we call the compression step. So this means we want to compress the eigenvalues. Originally, probably one or two eigenvalues are too large compared compare with the others. And then we want to compress the, the, the all eigenvalues. So how to do it? It's very simple. We can use this function. We call the compression function. So lambda j divided by lambda j plus one. You know, all eigenvalues are now negative. So this, so this means here, eventually, here SJ can SJ can keep the, the, the original original order of uh, of the values of uh, eigenvalues. Um, and this means S1 is still largest one, S2 is the second second largest one, and so on. If S, uh, lambda Q equals zero, uh, sorry, Q plus one. If lambda uh, lambda Q plus one equals zero, and S Q plus one is also zero. Okay. So this means. Here, if the original one is non-zero, and then the transformed one is also non-zero. Okay, yeah. So, and then the, the good thing is the all eigenvalues are now in between uh, between zero and one. Okay. So this is the first step. And the second step, we just consider this ratio. Um, here, this ratio means here the ratio x j square divided by x j so x j plus one. Okay, the divided by the next one. Okay, yeah. So, and then minus one. Based on this uh, 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 ratio, and then we immediately have this idea. If the g is smaller than q, and this, the, the, this number is larger than or equal to zero, we don't know, probably close, very close to zero. Doesn't matter, okay? And the key point is, here, eh, sorry. The key point is, when g equals q, and then this ratio, equals infinity at the population level. And afterwards, here is a zero by zero, as I mentioned. If here, g is larger than, g is larger than equal to q plus one, the sg here, s, s q plus one equals zero. And then for the later, all later eigen, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, transfer the, the eigenvalues, all zero. So this means zero by zero, and then minus one, okay? And the question is, Zero by zero is not well defined. So how to do it? Here, I temporarily defined zero by zero as one, temporarily. Later on, we can enforce this ratio to be one. Okay, so suppose you agree this definition, and then we can have, the, have this idea. Here, at Q, this is a, somehow, it's at, at, uh, at top. And afterwards, it's go to zero, okay? So it seems we can use this idea to uh, to, to 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 create uh, uh, the criteria, okay? But and this is the first step. And the second step, we want to construct the, we call the initial ridge ratio criteria. What does it mean? Uh, this means 
you know, at the uh, sample level, the value probably the, is a lot, is, a, is a, of course, all values are not zero. So, and then this ratio probably is not very stable, especially when, especially for the ratio zero by zero. This is a problem. So therefore, we want to get the ratio stable. So the question is how to do it? The idea is very, very simple. We simply add the constant to this ratio. Of course, this constant should be small enough, but cannot be zero. So the question is how small it can be, okay? Of course, we have to some uh, 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 theoretical study. Uh, but the basic idea is this one. And we just add the constant here. If here is zero, these uh, two eigenvalues are zero, and then this equals, zero, is equals one. Okay, yeah, this is the basic idea. So, and for this ratio, and then we can have the following property. For this, pro we have this property. We just give this value, okay? One over x, uh, sg hat. And then what's the property here? If g is smaller than q, and then this one is larger than zero. Okay, this is the third point, first. And if g equals q, this is a one over infinity. When n goes to infinity, one over infinity, of course, this is zero. Okay, later on, I will show you why I here, I specifically write down, write down this one, one over infinity. Later on, I will give you another one, it also goes to zero, but zero divided by infinity. And this means we want to improve, okay? And uh, if g is larger than q plus one, and then here, a larger than or equal to, here is larger than or equal to one. So you can find, actually, the true value is just at the, uh, just the, at the bottom of, uh, very bottom, okay? And this means we can use a minimizer to construct the criteria. But however, we don't stop. We still want to improve. Actually, if we use this one to, to get a con uh, criteria, and then it's not very efficient. It still, ha it still have some, we call it under, de under a, a, a determination problem, okay? Yeah, so now we go to here, as I mentioned. So this is what I want to say. So this means we still want to improve this criteria. The question is how to do it, how to do it. So this is the third step. The third step we call the double ridge ratio uh, 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 criteria. So what does it mean? The idea is very, very simple. Here, we just use the S, uh, sorry. Here, S star G plus one divided by S G star. And uh, we, we know here, we can get the, the deferred, uh, uh, further uh, 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 property or the result. If here, if G equals Q plus one, or Q minus one, this is infinity. Here, something on the top of the hill. And if g equals q, and then zero. Be careful, this zero is different from the previous zero. Previous zero, as I mentioned, is one over infinity. Here is zero, here zero by zero, by zero minus one is zero. So zero by infinity. So this means it actually is kind of a cell rigid. Uh, 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 we can say this is acceleration to zero, okay? So closer to zero, better or closer to zero, okay, yeah. So, and afterwards, here's one. So this means we can have a peak. And then here is uh, the, 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 the very bottom. And then afterwards, it's just one, this is another peak. So actually I call this, uh, uh, I, this uh, uh, pattern is a very cliff pattern. Here, this one, the very large, and then the, minimum, small, uh, the small one, and then afterwards, you get up to one, okay, forever, okay, yeah. So um, this very cliff pattern is really help us to 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 determine the the, the Q. Um, so and also we still have the we call the zero by zero problem, and then we also need to to add we call the C C two N C two N I call the C two N the ridge, okay, yeah. So um, and afterwards we can. Uh, sorry. And then it seems it finished. We can use a minimizer to determine uh, this the, the, the dimension. And actually, we found, in, but this is a, it's not a theoretical result. This is a practical result. We found if we just simply use a minimizer, sometimes 
We still have, we still have the, we call the, 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 the under determination problem, only because for this kind of, for general, actually, for general uh, uh, matches, probably we have uh, several local minima. Uh, uh, minima. So, and then this means we can have a multi minimum problem. And in this case, probably we choose another minimum, another uh, minimum. So, therefore, we consider the, the third, uh, fourth step. The fourth step, we use a threshold. So, this means here we use this one. This one is smaller than or equal to uh, 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 predetermined Q uh, at all. Here we consider all values, all GS, so, uh, so that. This ratio is smaller than or equal to tall, and then we choose the largest one. This is only because, this is only because, after Q, the all values are zero. It's impossible to have some uh, 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 minimum, okay, or several minima. So therefore, we use this idea to consider this uh, stretch holding uh, 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 step. Okay, yeah. So on. Um, and this is just four steps. Now this is method, the, 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 the algorithm is so simple, very simple, very easy to, to use. And of course you can ask you how to choose the, the ridge, uh, uh, two ridges, uh, C1, CN1N, CN, uh, C2N. Of course we have to some, uh, we have to use, uh, uh, we don't have a theoretical result, but we uh, principle, uh, empirically we give some result, uh, some, some, some value, okay, yeah. And uh, here, we, I also give some uh, uh, centrality result. Um, I just give you some idea, okay? I don't give some uh, more detail. So this means here, for the result we can find, we can find if P is fixed, and then this is easy, we can find the, the estimator, the Q hat equals Q is a probability going to one. This is easy to, 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 to prove. And even P also diverge. So diverge to infinity. I mean, P, mean P is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a is a dimension, okay? Uh, the N is a sample size. If the P, we can regard, if P very large, large means we can consider P is also divergent, okay? So in this case, we can suppose P goes to infinity, uh, goes to infinity at this rate. Here, alpha is smaller than one, and then we can also have the consistency of estimation, estimation consistency. This means Q hat equals Q with a probability going to one. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Um, and here, up to now, this is a very general uh, uh, framework. And then now I talk about some specific uh, uh, problem. Uh, suppose we talk about uh, this kind of model. We have a meaning, uh, leading term, and then we also have a second term. Second term means uh, actually, if the CN is a constant, and then we can consider, so uh, what's, a, what's, a, what's a Q? Q means the space spanned by B1 and B. Put them together, we can get the dimension. And this is uh, for any, actually, if, uh, uh, if a CN equals zero, this means the, space, the Q, the, now the Q reduced to, actually, is reduced to Q1, okay? Just the, the number. The, 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 the number of linear combination of the, uh, the first part, okay? Otherwise, we must have a second part, okay? Yeah, so in this case, can we identify the Q? You know, now the Q is different. Q is not only here, it's only in the first part. We must have a two, uh, two parts, okay, yeah. So, and this means now we want to know in case CN goes to zero. So this means the second part is very, very small. And then in this case, can you still identify the, 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 the total Q, or not only Q1, total, or the Q, uh, total number of columns? Um, here, existing method uh, already, already told us here, if the CN converges to zero at this rate, we can identify, identify. Otherwise, it's impossible, okay? So now we go to our method. If we use our method, we can find we can find if CN is a conversion to zero at this rate, and then we here this one, okay, and and we don't have ch any chance. So in other words, what we can identify is just Q one, not Q itself, okay. If this means if CN goes to zero too fast, it's in, and then we have no chance to identify it theoretically, and 
If the conversion rate is a, is a, is a slower, we have chance. Here, what does it mean slower? Here is n here. Alpha is smaller than one, over, uh, uh, the one half, and then we have chance. Otherwise, we don't have chance. So this is the result. Actually, we can find this rate is optimal. It's impossible to improve. It's impossible. OK, yeah. So um, and up to now, we just talk about regression. And then we, for instance, I'll give an example. Here, suppose we talk about the, uh, uh, the uh, effect model. Suppose here now we talk about this this effect model. We have B is a loaded matrix, and F F now is a, we call the factors. Okay, yeah. So in this case, the problem the problem is the same as the linear. However, in this case for the factor model, we know the F is a, is a, is a not observable. The B is also not observable. Okay, yeah. So in this case, the problem is not so simple. So, but we can simply use the covariance matrix to covariance matrix of Y to construct the criteria. So this means we can steer you here y, uh, y transverse. We use this one to construct the matrix, and then we also conduct the uh, eigen decomposition. And then afterwards, we can construct the, uh, the, the, the criteria. The idea is simple. So this means eventually we can construct the, the, the matrix, as well as we can construct the target matrix, and then we can do it. That's it, OK? Yeah. OK, so and then we can also have this uh, uh, estimation uh, uh, consistency. Okay, so I, I think, how many minutes do I have? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay, that's good enough. Okay, so, um, and then uh, for the, uh, uh, for the uh, numerical study, and then here I give you some comparison. First, our method, we call it uh, TDR, and then we also make comparison with, uh, we call the ridge type ratio estimation in the literature, and then we also BIC uh, type of estimation. This was proposed by, by, by myself many years ago. Um, and we can also uh, compare with uh, the we call the re, uh, re, uh, ratio estimation. Um, actually, in, in the paper we compare several several others, but here we only give you some only give you two tables. Otherwise, it's too it's too much. Okay, so um, now we talk about now I give in the simulation I give you this example. Uh, this example we can uh, the y equals this uh, regression model the x one. And then here's x2 and here's x3. And then in this case, we have actually for this model, we have three linear combinations. So what's a linear combinations? The first linear combination is uh, the, 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 the beta is uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on. And the second one is 0, 1, 0, and other 0. And the third one is 0, 0, 1, and others are 0. So we have three columns. In other words, we have three, three linear combinations. But this is, of course, a simple uh, linear combinations. Okay? So this means Q equals three in this case. Um, and in the, in the simulation, we consider the P to be uh, 10 and 40. And now, now I first give you a conclusion. You know, otherwise, it, uh, if you look at the tables, probably it's so, 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 so tedious or, or it's, you know, the, the, the character is too small. Um, the conclusion is, uh, uh, our method works the best. And uh, this means uh, it, it can have a larger proportion to get the Q hat larger than 2. Okay? For the others, just Q hat equals 1. Um, here is a table. Here I just give you a very, very simple, uh, small table. So you can find uh, this is a TDR. Now here we have this one. Q equals 2, here is uh, 0.24, and here at Q is 3. Original, uh, the, the true value is uh, uh, 3. And here is 0.74. Uh, and for the other 3, just 1. What? For instance, RRE is 100% to get, get, get 1. Okay? And it, this is uh, P equals, uh, equals what? Equals 10. And then if P equals 40, we can have this idea. So here is uh, 3, is 0.60. And then 4 is a, uh, point, uh, 14 something. So it seems a slightly overestimation. Um, but for, for the others, here RE just 1. Here RE just 1. The BIC is interesting. BIC, it seems there is some, I don't know, probably the dimensionality blessing. It seems the dimension here is a piece larger, and then BIC performs better. This is very, uh, I don't know. Can I say this is a dimensionality blessing? Cannot, probably it cannot. But anyway, we have this phenomenon. Okay, yeah. Um, and then if you look at the, this uh, uh, the plot, 
the box plot, and then you can find. You can find. Here, in our case, definitely we get the three. Okay, we use a stretch coding, and then for the here, for the uh, uh, RE is one, and the BIC is definitely the largest one, also one, and then for the uh, for the RE is also one. Okay, um, and this is the first example. And the second example, we talk about what we call the local uh, 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 local re uh, regression model. Local regression model means previously we we gave the CN. Okay, now the CN is A. The A goes to zero. So here. O, uh, 2 over uh, n power to one, 1 over 4, okay, yeah. So, and in this case, in this example, uh, Q1 is 1, and then Q itself is 2, and then we can find here, TDR, here we have a high uh, 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 proportion to get the get the 2, and then if we talk about, if we look at the RE and the RE and the BIC, basically it's 1, basically it's 1. And then this is uh, n equals 200, and 400 also the same. And then if uh, 800, this simulation, uh, the, the, the conclusion is similar. Okay, yeah. So in other words, uh, for this local regression model, we can also we can also have a better chance to get the right uh, uh, dimension. Okay. Um, this is uh, the third one is uh, uh, we call the the, uh, the, the the fact model. In the fact model here, we have. Oh yes, uh, for the fact model here, we consider the larger p, you know, p divided by n is 1. This means if n is 50 and then p is also 50. And then here, p by n is 4. What does it mean? This means if n is 50 and then p is already 200, it's larger than the sample size. Okay, yeah. So in this case, in this example, uh, d equals 4. And then now we can look at, so, now here it's just to give the give the proportion. Here for our method, d equals four is a uh, is uh, is about one, okay. And if we use uh, re, d is smaller than four is about one. And re is also similar. And B bic is also similar. So this means for the other method, they really underestimate the dimension. Okay. Okay. So uh, now I will go to the the, the example previously I, I talked about. So I still have this example. We have uh, about 400 data points, and then we have uh, eight, only eight, eight uh, 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 variables. Okay, yeah. So and now we want to check, as I mentioned, this 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 uh, this uh, uh, slide uh, was presented before. Okay. This means if we use our method, the dimension is three, and then if we use other three methods, the dimension is one, and then. But this is for real data. We really want to check three is good enough or one is good enough. Okay? So um, this is very similar to, uh, very different from, from the simulation. So therefore, we want to check. So how to check which dimension is good? And then now we can consider this one. We can use a residual sum of squares to check it. So in other words, here we have y and then once we determine uh, uh, the dimension, and then we fit we fit the model. Okay, we use a non uh, we use a regression uh, method to, uh, to to fit the model. So and then this means we, and then we can get a residual. So y i this is a, the, the, the response, uh, and then here this is a regression uh, regression function and the estimated regression function or prediction. Okay, now we can get this one and then we can get R S S. If we use here here, if we use one. Q hat equals one. In this case, of course, here by the way, uh, 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 in this uh, non-parametric estimation, we also have to use uh, we call the we call the, the bandwidth. Okay, this is another parameter, and we can find here in this case. Um, and then how to choose bandwidth? We use a uh, cross validation, or we simply use. Oh, sorry, there is a typo. Grid point to search this uh, 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 bandwidth, and then we can find RSS is simply. Here equals fifty six, pretty large. So in, in other words, the fit, the, 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 the fit is not good enough. Okay, and now we can consider three. If we use a three, this fit is the RSS is is reduced to one point something. And then, in this sense, three is better than one. However, three is, is good enough. Can we choose some others? And then we try again to use 
to use for instance, q hat equals uh, to use four, and then we can find R S S is less than one. It's just only point uh, eight, five, eight, eight five something. Okay, and if we use all, it's better. No, here you can find if we use all, actually the R S S it get larger. What does it mean? This means sample size is not large enough. This is non parametric estimation. Okay, this is definitely is because of the estimation error. Okay, yeah. So therefore, however, you know, for the non parametric regression model, adding one dimension is already disaster. Is a big problem. If you add in two dimension, probably is a disaster. So balance. Between the model postmodernness and the model fitting, probably three is already good enough. So the eventually, a young paper we choose a three. Probably you can argue, why not four? But based on this this reason, we choose three. I think I must stop. You finish. I still have time. Yes. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, anyway. Is there any question from the audience? Please. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, you said that uh, the number is the Which number? Uh, 47.63. What is that number? 40. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean 47 yeah. point something? That that is based on the grid point. So, based on, you know, uh, as I mentioned, for the non parametric regression model, uh, regression estimation, we have to choose the bandwidth. Or the, 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 the uh, here I use a kernel, kernel estimation. So, th this means we have to choose a, a good the bandwidth. Okay? And here, the, there are two methods in, in our paper. There are two methods to, to, to search this, uh, to, to choose this bandwidth. Uh, first one is a cross. Oh, we didn't. We actually, if we if we choose, uh, definitely we can choose <laughs> choose two. Uh, what I want to tell you, yeah, actually we tried, but uh, if we choose I, I, here, I think it's not necessary to present all values. But if we choose uh, two, uh, the not, uh, this value is about uh, three or four. I I remember, but it definitely it's uh, still much larger than the three. Thank you. Yes? Yeah. So, I mean, this example kind of give you another approach, just kind of treating uh, Q as a cumulative parameter, right? So you could set Q at 1, at 2, at 3, and do a cross-validation and choose the one which gave you the smallest. Yes, you are, you're right. Except yes. Except for a computational complexity, you have to write the gradient of the yes. Q. Yeah. And this probably give you the best solution. Yeah. Um, I know the engineering part is open, uh, open doing something like this. <coughs> just uh, cons uh, just uh, tried all values. Um, here, you know, here just a very simple, very simple uh, 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 problem. A uh, very simple uh, uh, example. Um, and then, of course, uh, I just want to use this example to 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 somehow to demonstrate the the use uh, usefulness of the method. Um, uh, there are two problems. If we simply use this idea and then. Uh, 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 mathematically, we don't have a, uh, we don't know what is uh, uh, estimation consistency. So this means, of course, you can choose. For instance, here is choose four. That's good enough. You probably you, you can consider. Okay. However, if we choose four, we create another problem. What, what does it mean? Here, for instance, here is three, as I mentioned. Here is three. Here is four. And then this means for the further statistical analysis, you have to use four. Any further. You have to use four. So, but now the dimension is four, and then for the non-parameter estimation, you have trouble. This means your estimation cannot be more cannot be accurate enough. So, as long as dimension is higher, and then you have this problem. Okay. So, this actually probably it will affect the further analysis. So here we want to here. This is why I say I want to use three. I don't want to use four. If we don't, you have the, the, the theoretical uh, the guidance, probably you simply use four. Yes, definitely. If we use four, the RS is smaller, but only in one step. But what about the further step? This is why we don't usually, for the stati statistical guy, we don't, don't use this kind of idea. 
Okay, yeah. So usually we, we want to have a theoretical guidance first, and then we know where the range between range of this value. Okay. We don't want to try that one. I have a, another yes? question. Like, within the first step, when you try to construct lambda, yes? Yes. So, I mean, does it really matter you use 1? Can you use 0.5? Of course. Use? Yes. Of course, right? Yeah. Theoretically, anyone. Yeah. However, we found, actually, we have a theory. Uh, we have, actually, we have a theorem. There is no optimal one. It's impossible to have optimal one. And then, but this one is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, uh, is a useful function, okay? It's a simple function. This one. I understand your concern. First, I use uh, some consonant C, or even use some other function. It's fine. But uh, which one is the optimal one? No, there is no solution. And it definitely cannot find the optimal one. So if you change C to another value, and all the, all the following theory, would that, like, you have to reuse? No. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, this, is why, this is why I say, actually, we, we have a theorem to, to talk about that. If we choose, a, choose a C, you cannot say that one is better than this, this one. You cannot say that. This is the problem. So, and then we simply use this one. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, I mean, going back to the, the first question, yes. we use, like, choosing, you know, setting lambda, not setting P, Q, Q as a Q parameter, just use cross validation. Yes. Even though it's kind of experimental approach, but because of this, have a lot of, I would say maybe have some of the ad hoc this going into this whole procedure. You have to choose plus one or plus other uh, positive value, and you have to kind of this the two values, the c, the two range expressions. You have to use c are determined as I mean experimental values, but there's no theory for it. like what I mean. Given like I mean, seems like it's, it's good approach, but there's also ad hoc. Some are, some uncertainty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, I, I agree. Oh, uh, uh, this means our method is not the optimal one, <laughs> in this sense. <laughs> All right, uh, we, I think we can take the discussion offline. Let's thank the speaker. Okay.